Alright folks, I'm getting ready to make myself an onion smash burger. And I gotta point out, the key to them, in my opinion, are these Martin's uh, potato rolls. They're awesome. That's the mandolin that I use to get the finely diced uh, onions. It comes with both coarse and fine uh, chopping blades and thick and thin slicing blades. And here's another little secret. Use real deal butter, man. I mean, yeah, you can go with the, the no salt variety, which I do. But um, it, it, it makes it, you know, when it's grilled. So anyway, there's the three basic components pre-cooking. And um, we'll get to the cooking and the dressing of the burger later on. All right, so we're getting ready to do this here. Right, in the interest of time again, uh, the Martin's potato rolls already been brushed with uh, clarified butter. Press it down a little bit. There's the uh, the smash burger, baby. Now, what I'm going to do, because this is going to go quick. Look at that's a that's a pretty thin uh, patty, even though it's uh, you know like three, maybe three and a half ounces. But uh, oh, can't you hear it sizzling already? Yeah, baby. Oh, and what, what's the mad scientist got going on over here? Oh, they fit right inside each other? Okay. Into that Catania turkey frying oil, baby. All right, we're going to give it a quick flip. Look at that. Look at that, those onions. Now, this part, you might sit there and say, what the heck is this crazy white boy gonna do now? But anyway. Yep, that's water. That roll's done, a little bit overdone than what I normally do them. But I tell you what, ain't gonna affect a thing. Oh, look at that, look at that. Going quick, going quick. Oh, I wish you had smell of these in there. Like I said, that's gonna cook quick. At the ready. That's going to be right about there. But you know what? I like cheese. Cheese melting dome on top. All that's left is to melt that. Then we're going to dress it up. Okay. Coming off of the flat top, baby. We'll get these over there. All right, so whoop, so there you have it. Um, let's see. Well, we definitely know them bad boys are going on there. And since I'm supposed to be eating a little healthy. Come on, cooperate, you son of a bitch. And we'll throw that on there. And then for the top, um, it's just going to be sriracha mayo, a little bit of Heinz uh, tomato ketchup, and some Coop's Arizona heat mustard. But anyway, I told you that I'd have something for today. It's a different type of product. And uh, we'll see. All right. Talk Time to, to you close later. out the video, I'll give you a... A little tour of uh, the Grove here. That brown building over there, that's White's Farm Stand and Sugar House. He'll be rolling in here uh, no later than mid-June with the first crop of the year. That'd be the strawberries. There's the one, uh, the 202 sign uh, denoting the 119-202 intersection. You see that sign and flag or flags 
flying or down at the end of the uh, the entrance way I'm open 12 by 12 easy ups this year to keep the picnic tables a little drier fire retardant screen kit to uh, go around the surviving easy up and of course the Harley Hugger Orange uh, trailer so that's what I was up to today at Wyman's Wieners um, I figured I'd uh, try something that has never hit the menu and that I like to eat and uh, maybe if I can figure out how to put a voting button on uh, on this thing or you know maybe I'll uh, take a poll maybe it'll be up on the menu you never know but anyway here it is Wyman's Wieners stop on by and get you some have a great day